Okay, everyone, welcome. Although this is a sports and wrestling and entertainment channel, I'm going to make this quick video. Recently, there was the Windows 10 Creators Fall update, and as you see, a lot of people are experiencing this problem. They keep getting this error code. Now, uh, Microsoft on this, their support page, they have this error code plus uh, a following code that follows that explains what the code is. But uh, my problem was I was just getting this code, and it kept saying, uh, "Windows cannot install because of it cannot update the system reserve partition." Okay. Okay, here's a better visual. It says we couldn't update system reserve partition, and this is the error code, error 0KXC1900104, and it won't be followed by any other code. I wasn't getting this. It says we couldn't update system uh, update partition. So it'll download, and it'll try to install, and, and then it just stops. It, 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 you actually get a window where it says cannot update, and then... Uh, once you close, the system will clean up files, and then that's it. You know, we don't have it. But here's a very quick, easy fix. Uh, even even if, if you're a, nov uh, a novice, it's very easy. I'll show you. Okay, so if you're you're a novice, don't worry. You, you're going to have to... I called Geek Squad. They didn't know what to do. I called like four or five different times. I spoke to seven different uh, technicians and agents. They didn't know what to do. They told me to bring it back to the... Uh, my store, and I, need, I needed hands-on support. It doesn't. It, 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 nobody knows what they're doing. So what you do is uh, go out, go online, uh, Google Mini Tool Partition. Okay, go, download it, open it up, and then you'll see this. Once, once it installs, you'll see this Mini Tool Partition Wizard Free Launch Application. Launch application. Hit this. Click this. Launch application. Start application to manage disks. Okay, click it. Okay. Okay. Once you open it up, you're gonna see this window immediately. Okay. It's gonna. It looks all very confusing. It's not. Okay. Just read. Read the words. It says recovery partition. Okay. Status none. System partition. Active and system. That is the, that. That is what's active. Okay. None. Boot none. Okay, I, I changed this, so you read, you see it, it says unused, used capacity, okay? You have to click the one that says active system, and most likely it will be very, uh, there will be very little uh, space. You'll see the unused to used, okay? And then, so then the next step will be, okay, don't be afraid, just as long as you, you, uh, Click, click onto this, highlight it. Okay, then you see this. It clicked. Uh, this is highlighted. You right click, right click this. You'll see this window come out, and you want to hit extend. Okay, because that's what you want to do. You're going to extend your uh, EFI system partition because it needs more space. And when you do, it, you you only need a little bit. You only need to extend it a little bit. Okay. You'll see this. You'll see this. Don't do anything. Just take it. Uh, this, this is the setting. This is the setting. Uh, the increase they suggest. Take it down. Click and drag. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up my disk. Click. Hold this. Click it and drag it over. Extend it maybe like 30, 40 MBs. That's all you have to do. And then you click OK. And then you click. After you click, oh, click OK, go up here. And hit apply, and then you'll see. Uh, make sure everything is closed. That is very imp and most important. Close everything except for this. Do not have anything opened on your computer except for the mini tool partition. Like I said, you click, you uh, click the active system. This will uh, highlight. Right click that. You'll see this. And you don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to ex ex extend it too much. Uh, very little. Uh, this is this is right now. It's suggesting for my computer 637. You don't need it. 
click and click and hold click hold and drag this back you only want it maybe to open it up 30 40 mega mbs whatever megabytes okay then you click okay then you go up here this will this will this will be uh highlighted i'm not doing it now because i don't want to uh mess up my my computer and then you hit apply and then you'll see a screen with the disk and uh the mini tool partition uh, app will do its work and extend your partition and then after that you could go right away go and inst and, try and uh, inst download and install the new Windows update and it's magic but be forewarned it takes a, even even if you have a fast internet connection it takes a long time to install so be ready to at least uh, be ready to at least spend uh, uh, over two, three hours on it. And another thing uh, concerning the Windows update, after it installs and it's successful and your computer finally comes back on and, and to normal, don't do anything. Don't do anything. It's because the, the system you're, you're, is going to be going crazy. It's going to be bursting and you, uh, the disk is going to be going nuts. I'll show you. Okay, again, you, you don't have to be an expert. If you're a novice, okay. If you followed my instructions so far, now after three about two three hours that the new Windows 10 uh, up, the creators update installed onto your computer, and you finally have your, your regular screen on, do not do anything. Go to go to your search uh, where Cortana is, or open up. Uh, the task manager through your settings and then you're gonna see the disk it's gonna be going crazy it's gonna be at 100 okay because uh, this even though Windows 10 installed and it restarted several times your system needs your computer needs uh, is just absorbing all this and it's and it's writing and rerouting all this information I think that's how uh, that's how best I can describe sit back sit still don't do anything don't do anything until di the disk is going to be at 100. It's going to wait maybe three, four, five minutes until it starts stabilizing and going down. At least you start seeing to 70. Don't do anything, okay? And then it's a good idea to manually restart your computer. Do it about two, three times, okay? And again, every time it comes back on you're, you're from restarting, it's a good thing. Don't worry about people. A lot of people say, oh, restarting your computer uh, rapidly uh, is bad for it. No, it's not. It's only bad if you have a virus. Uh, that's bad because the virus is going to keep re rewriting itself into your computer. But every time, do th do at least two. I this is what I did. I did two restarts. I did a manual shutdown, and then the fourth time I did another restart. And every time in each one after, when your computer comes back on, go to the task manager and don't do anything. Don't open up any browsers or anything until this the disk stabilizes until it goes from 100 and it's red until it goes back down to 15 20 until it stabilizes okay it's gonna take a while but don't don't go once your computer comes back on if you automatically uh, if you right away wrap start opening up browsers and, and the computer and the disk is being used because it's writing stuff into it your computer's gonna crash and then you're gonna to have to shut it down. And then once it comes back on, it's once it reboots, then you're gonna have a disk uh, error. Don't just follow my instructions, okay? If you have any questions, leave the comments. I'll even uh, leave a link down below to uh, for the mini tool partition. Thank you.